Hello and a very very warm welcome to all of you piano lovers the world over. Today we will take up an intermediate level etude in playing in octaves. Uh, you know, almost all difficult music contains octave passages and it's always good to, uh, you know, practice playing octaves and learn to play octaves easily and fluently. Now, before we go to the tutorial part of the video, I'd just like to play the whole etude to you first. Here it is. It is intermediate level. It is by James Bastian. And uh, the first thing you have to do when you play octaves is to remember to keep your wrists very loose, like this. So you would play. right? Now this study begins with a very lovely uh, waltz uh, rhythm in the left hand. That's the waltz. And then with a very tender tune in the right hand. and it would still be an octave etude, but to make it more of an etude, what Bastian does, he makes you play each octave three times. Learn 
learn it, playing each octave only once so you memorize the tune. It always finds it easier to go to the right notes and then bring in the triplets. Right, isn't it beautiful? Now, and always practice though. You don't have to practice at this speed from the beginning when you start to learn it, you can even do You see, speed is the easiest thing to achieve in music. Most important thing at first is to learn the notes, to understand the music, to have the right feel for it <coughs> and an idea in your mind how you want it to sound and then relentlessly pursue that goal till you get there but patiently, slowly, slow practice is always, <coughs> I swallowed wrong, I'm sorry. Slow practice is always the best practice and it bears rich fruit. Now, in the second, on the second page, <coughs> Bastian has written that my right hand was playing in single notes. And my left hand was playing in octaves and in triplets. Now I, in order to make this more of an etude, prefer to play both hands in triplets and both hands in octaves. When both hands play in octaves, it is called double octaves. So it's, this is how I play. second page must be played in double octaves, both hands playing exactly the same notes and both hands playing in octaves. And when you reach the end of the second page, then there is a da capo, which means play that waltz page, the first page again, and it sounds even sweeter and lovelier when it comes back. So I will play the double octaves page, the second page, and then I will do the da capo, I will repeat the first page, and that's how the waltz ends. Okay, here we go.
thing doesn't have to be a piece of music doesn't have to be very very difficult in order to be beautiful this is intermediate level it's an etude and it's important to play etudes or studies if you want to improve your piano technique they're very important you have always to play studies and master them but studies can be beautiful like this one and of course the ultimate studies or the ultimate studies as we all know as you all know too are the etudes of Chopin and to get there you have to go step by step put one foot in front of the other and one day you'll find yourself studying an etude of Chopin so thank you for watching and for future uh, uh, future videos. I want to make, uh, you know, do some pieces from Alfred's Adult Piano Course Level 3 and so on. And this beautiful etude by Bastian was from Intermediate Technique 3. Intermediate Technique 3. And it is on page 38. This is what it looks like. So, you will say to me, you're always making us buy books on, from Amazon and so on. And I'm afraid I am, but you know, I mean, for a piano lover, we don't skimp on buying books, right? We skimp in other areas. We try to save in that. I don't buy a new dress. I don't buy a pair, new pair of shoes, but I would definitely buy a new music book. So I have over 200 music books and I hope you will also gradually build your music book collection not only to equal mine but to far surpass it. Thank you for watching. Please write your comments on the video. They mean the world to me. Your comments mean the world to me and I eagerly look forward to them. So please keep your comments coming and any suggestions also that you would like to make on videos that I can make on pieces that you want me to make videos on or what aspects of piano technique you would like me to deal with. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and happy piano playing to all of you the world over till we meet again soon. Thank you.